So I've been going around the state talking about issues, talking about the uh, real, real subjects like why it is that we're always at war with somebody. Where, where, where did this enemy of the week come from? It's Nicaragua this week, it was Salvador the week before. We were going to overthrow Gaddafi at one point, and the CIA said, no, 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 it wasn't Libya, it was Mauritania. And the Mauritanians then got on the phone, why are you trying to overthrow us? You know? Where does this come from? And it comes from something very simple. As you saw in Reagan's budget, he said over the next five years, we're going to spend one and a half trillion dollars on defense. That's a thousand billion, right? That's a thousand billion. It is more money. Now, where's the war? Who's the enemy? They have to keep looking around, so they start say, talk about the vulnerability window. I love that. Even, even Reagan broke himself up on that one. He was giving one of his interviews, and he said, well, I mean, the Russians are ahead of us here and there, and then there's this vulnerability window, and even he broke up on it and started to <laughs> chuckle at his own cue cards. <laughs> the window of vulnerability. Anyway, I would like to see the money that goes to defense... We have quite enough. We are way ahead of the Russians in most things. I'd like to see at least half of that budget go domestically toward education, toward maintaining the cities, toward people, and forget this war against everybody. It never seems to happen, does it? You, you think that... And you know as well as I do, if you bring that argument up with uh, political figures, they will say, but you see, if we are not equipped and if we don't have the MX missile system, our, our missiles are vulnerable and we would not survive a first strike. Now, you don't want us to be second best, do you? That's the, oh, the shock sure. answer. Well they, well, they do that, and then they come up with something like the AWACS deal. Everybody was very worried, is this anti-Israel or pro-Israel or pro-Arab, or is this going to help us in the oil fields? There was one reason for that, $8.5 billion to Boeing. It was very, very simple. This was just a transfer of money. Yeah. And it is not for our defense. Any time a politician tells you the Russians are coming, just hang on to your wallet, because it means there's another raid on the Treasury. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back.